in this video. We're going to look at problem number 12 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 12, it has been reported that the revenue of a particular tablet in 2015 was approximately $54 million. That same tablet produced only $46 million in sales in 2016. What is the percent of decrease in sales for this tablet from 2015 to 2016? Round to the nearest percent. Now, the general idea for percent of increase or decrease problems, it works the same way. The first thing you want to do is find the difference between the two values. The two values we have here are $54 million and $46 million. Let's just subtract those two. That's going to be the difference between them. And that's going to be $8 million. $54 million minus $46 million is $8 million. Step number one is done. Step number two, divide that by the original. This is where you have to be careful. If we have a decrease like we have in this problem, the original will be the bigger number. Think about this. In 2015, it was $54 million. In 2016, it was $46 million. The older value, the original, is going to be the bigger because we had a decrease from one year to the next. So the original in this case is 54. This is where you have to be careful when you work these problems out because the original, if you have a decrease, the original will be the bigger one since the value decreased from one time interval to the next. Now, if you did have an increase problem, you would actually use the smaller value. If something increases over time, the older value, the original value, will be the smaller value. That's where you have to be careful. So let's divide these two numbers, 8 divided by 54, and we get this crazy decimal right here, 0.148 repeated, actually. The 148 gets repeated over and over and over. Now, the next thing we want to do is convert this thing to a percent. You can multiply that quotient that we just got. When we divided these two numbers, that's a quotient. Multiply it by 100 to change it to a percent, or you can simply move the decimal two places to the right. So when we move this decimal two places to the right, or when you multiply by 100, you're going to get somewhere around 14.8. 148148 blah 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 percent. Now let's make sure we round to the nearest percent. So 14.8% is pretty much going to be 15% when we round to the nearest percent. The 8 tells the 4 to bump on up to the next number. And that is going to be our percent of decrease. It decreased by 15%. So as an added bonus, I've put a visual bar graph up here, two pieces. Uh, 2015, we have the height of this bar at 54 million, which matches what we had in our problem. And in 2016, we have the 46 million. Now the y-axis over here is scaled kind of crazy, but I want you to look at the spaces we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten equally spaced spots, if you will, give us this first bar, 54 million. Each little space represents 10%. Notice in 2016, we have a shorter bar graph, and it's actually one space and half of another space shorter than this bar graph over here. So visually, 15%. Notice that we are going one space and half of another space down to get to this bar here. If you think of each space as 10% and then half of another one is going to be 5%, 10% and 5% give you that 15% decrease in sales for this tablet. I hope that makes sense. And there you have it, a percent of decrease problem. This particular application works for percent of decrease and percent of increase. Just make sure step number two here, the original or the older value, pay special attention to the stuff discussed in this step. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.